race. Fast versus slow is a concept we will milk the teat of until the cows come home. Pun intended. We're back again. Fast versus slow. Max pace versus minimum pace. Two strikers, both with frozen attributes. 175 current ability. World class already. Let's get into it and see how their careers take shape. Two English strikers, 15 years young. As mentioned in the intro, we've got 175 current ability. The potential ability is also 175. They're six foot. They've got resolute personalities. We've got Tim Williams, who is our slow coach. There you go. There is his polygon. Very satisfying. I think you'll agree. Both their personalities are identical. We have. I have... Uh, mimicked their personality type so the same attributes will be for tim williams as they are for lewis glover and there he is mid journeyed out of his mind as well with what can only be described as a fantastic hairdo if i say so myself i don't know why i said if i say so myself like i've got the same hairdo i certainly do not we're going off on a tangent ladies and gentlemen already can you tell this is the first video recording since my holiday. It's been over two weeks since I recorded a video because I've been editing and getting everything up while I've been away. Well, I'm back. Not very tanned, as you can see. Still pasty as ever, but there you go. Um, I'm back from holiday. Had a lovely time. Thank you for asking in the comments. Is Lewis, uh, Max Pace, much worse attributes all around. If we do a comparison, if the game lets me, apparently we can't. There we go. We can. So that is the polygons, and that is how the polygons will stay throughout their careers. Who will have the better career? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's starting simulating through the first year. What clubs will they start at? We'll soon see. Okay, so fantastic. Fantastic. They've not gone to massive clubs. Uh, apologies to all Leeds and Wolves fans, but Leeds and Wolves are not massive at the start of this game. Leeds were in the championship, but of course Lewis has got... He's playing as a cam. He's playing as a cam. They've retrained him as a central attacking midfield. 24-39 in, in the Skybet Championship. He won the league. He only became league champion by eight points. Bloody hell, that was good, wasn't it? Awards. No award given for the Northwest Player of the Season. Player of the Season. Crescencio Somerville for Leeds United. Young Player of the Season. Lewis Glover. Fair play two. Yeah. Top goal scorer was Lewis Glover on 20. Che Adams for Southampton on 20. And Toby Adeyemo. Adeyemo? Adeyemo? Toby Adeyemo for Watford with 19. He looks like he means business, doesn't he? Any danger of a smile, Toby? So Leeds won the championship anyway, and he got 24 in 39 games. He has not been capped by England or at youth level, but he is only 16 years old. So the fact that he's played so much in the championship for Leeds is impressive at 15 years young. Tim Williams, 18 in 36 for Wolves in the Premier League. He has played as a striker. He has not come back into the cam role. Acceleration and pace still at one, of course always going to be the case uh, polygon still the same 18 and 36 a 7.04 wolves where did they finish in the league then 11th then for wolves not bad at all they finished on 45 points i believe that is is that right or 43 still you know just touching top half which is pretty good for a team of wolves caliber look at that crystal palace going down despite the fact they've got some really good players in their midst and liverpool actually won the league on goal difference from manchester city and they were both 21 points clear of arsenal level on points on 91 oh just a slightly better goal difference for liverpool and of course their manager jürgen klopp has left and gone out with a bang did they win anything else but it was real madrid that won the champions league much like in real life to be fair because real madrid have won the champions league in real life as we all know the fa cup was won by manchester city and the carabao cup was won by newcastle well who did man city beat in the final they beat man united in the final 2-1 hmm didn't quite happen like that, did it, City? Hey! Finally something to cheer about for United. Yeah, bad. Sod your four in a row. FA Cup. FA Cup. But we all want to win. So there we go, then. No wanted signs on these players as of yet, so... Will they be wanted? Will they move? Oh, we'll soon. We'll find out, won't we? Let's move to 2025. Right, so they're both still there. Now, Leeds have gone down. Leeds are in the championship. Liverpool and Barcelona want Lewis. He wants to move to a club with a stronger squad. Not surprising. Tim Williams, Liverpool, Barcelona and Man United. So, firstly, we're going to go and look at the Premier League. Man City took their title back from Liverpool, who actually finished down in fifth on 59 points. That's not very good, is it? And Antonio Conte was the man to come in. Uh, will he still be there next season? Remains to be seen. Man City winning the league, of course. Still got Pep at the helm. Uh, what's happening? It's a Leeds 30 
points, finished bottom. That's not good enough, is it? Lewis Glover, he got 9 in 34. Didn't have the best of seasons in the Premier League. Now, where did he play, is the question. Was he playing as a striker or was he playing as a cam? Either way, he's going to be leaving Leeds. His contract details are as follows. He has no relegation release clause, but he's only got seven. He's only on £775 a week as a world-class talent. His deal expires in two years as an optional one-year extension, but he's only worth £12.5 to £38 million. Someone's going to come in for £30 million and buy him. No danger whatsoever. Wolves, on the other hand, got Conference League football, ladies and gentlemen, finishing in seventh. You love to see it, don't you? Gary O'Neill is doing wonders with the Wolves team. Let me tell you who else is doing wonders. Tim Williams. He has got 23 in 38 in this season where he was absolutely phenomenal. He's also got two caps and a goal for the England team. Lewis yet to be capped at any form of international football. Tim, on the other hand, though, has got those caps. Fair play to him. He's wanted. He's had a great season. How good was his season in comparison to other people? Let's look at the awards. Football of the Year was Bakaya Saka. The Players Player of the Year was also Saka. The Team of the Year, he didn't find himself in there. It was Haaland and Jesus up top. Young Player of the Year was Alejandro Garnacho, who's had a bit of a decent season. Bit disappointing, that, isn't it? And the top goal scorer was Erling Haaland on 24. Tim Williams in second on 23. Jared Bowen in third on 18. Well, big moves are coming. Surely, surely. Will any of them go abroad to Barcelona? Will anyone go to a club that's not currently interested in them? 2026 has the answers. Well, he did not move, did he? To a club that was interested in him. It's Borussia Dortmund. Is it? Is it worth a costume change? Right, he's gone to Dortmund representing so costume change let's go to lewis two caps no goals for england 26 million pound was the fee he's got 14 in 30 for borussia dortmund in the bundesliga where bayern munich took their title back from leipzig dortmund finishing in third so he's not done anything outlandish has he players player of the year was julian brandt yeah uh, levo sane in second dino gittens in third Newcomer of the year was Lewis Glover, who managed to get himself a personal accolade as Newcomer of the year. Top goal scorer was Florian Wirtz on 24 for Bayer Leverkusen. Victor Boniface for Leverkusen also got 18. Lewis Glover on 14 was in third. So where the hell was Harry Bloody Kane? 12 goals in a league winning season. It makes no sense, does it? It makes absolutely no sense. Tim Williams, on the other hand, well, he's got three goals in nine caps for England now, so he's not setting the world on fire internationally. But for Wolves, he's got 17 in 36, and he got nine in 12, we'll say, 10 starts in continental competitions. How many games do you play in the Conference League? Would they have won it? Well, they finished 14th, did Wolves. A, a sorry state of affairs this season compared to where they were before. Erling Haaland on 22. There you go, 17 for Tim Williams. Young player of the year, uh, gone at you again. <coughs> Mo Salah is player of the year. No Conference League win for Wolves either because they've um, not got anything next to them to say they qualify for the Europa League. They went out in the quarterfinals to Celta Vigo. Finally, the season, they lost 4-1 to Arsenal. Tim Williams did get the goal with the penalty. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing. He's still there and he's no longer wanted. Will he still be there in 2027? He is. So, Tim Williams still at Wolves. He wants to move to a club with a stronger squad. I do not blame you, Tim. 19-36 and 36 in the most recent season. Man City win the league for the third time in a row. Wolves 13th. Meh. Pretty rubbish. Man United finishing 5th getting Champions League football. Now, when did Lewis move to Manchester United? He moved for £70 million. It looks like he moved uh, three or four days ago. So, he won, moved three or four days ago. He actually won the DFB per Cal uh, at Dortmund. So fair play to him there. 12 in 28. Not really the season you want to speak about. Nothing great, is it? Nothing great at all. But Lewis Glover's come in to Manchester United, who finished fifth. Hoping he'll, they're hoping he'll spearhead them up the league to a potential first league title in what could only be described as a hell of a long time by this point. Probably 15, 16 years. Could he do it? Lewis Glover, still at Man United. He's at Man United. He's had his first season, 18-23 internationally, 17-35 for Man United. Arsenal won the league. It was Arsenal that won the league. United in second on 79 points. City down in third. Pep's had a shocker. An absolute shocker, old Pepe. Zinedine Zidane is the manager of Manchester United. And Lewis Glover, in terms of his personal milestones, well, the seasonal best 11 for Man United... And he's also in the England seasonal best 11 as well as a substitute. There he is on the bench. 
Tim, on the other hand, he is wanted by Chelsea, United and Spurs. He could be going to United. He could both end up at Man United here. Wanted at the end of his contract. He's, is he out of contract? His contract has expired. Wow. He wanted to leave. Wolves didn't want to let him leave. He decided to run his contract down. 22 goals in this most recent season. And as we saw, Manchester United there. Wolves back up in 11th. No European football though. And they're about to lose their star man. Both of them in the Premier League. Young player, Rob Murphy. Players player, Saka. Team of the year. Gonzalo Ramos at Liverpool. Look at that. Arsenal got so many players in there. Galvini at United. A lot of those players actually play for Arsenal now. All of them do. Diego Costa. Diego Costa is at Newcastle. Mm. There you go. Right. Where will Tim go? He went to Spurs. He's gone to Spurs. Possibly a poor choice, if you ask me. 17 and 37 for Tim as an international. Antonio Conte is now manager of England. He was sacked as the manager of Liverpool after the club's poor league position. That was in November, so they did keep him on, despite the fact he finished fifth. No, your no, no trophies for England though. About this, um, despite the caps for Tim and Lewis, so Tottenham paid 1.7 million pounds. Compo, I guess, 15 and 31 in his debut season. Back to back Premier Leagues for Arsenal and Sebastian Hernis is in charge. Mikel Arteta got sacked. He's unemployed. He's unemployed. That's criminal. Genuinely criminal. United fourth. Spurs seventh. No European football for Spurs. That is a little bit sh uh, rubbish. Lewis, after his big money move, he only got 14 and 33 in the most recent season. That's underwhelming, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying. Underwhelming disappointing but well, they're both in the premier league i can't see them transferring away anytime soon so we're going to do some slightly larger jumps now we're going to jump three years to 2032 it'll be 24 hopefully they've got some trophies under the belt of course they're still at their respective clubs tim williams is wanted by liverpool and let's have a look how he's been doing for spurs then well he's got 14 23 and 15 in the three seasons he's been here since the first one where he got 15 as well so he's had he's been consistent throughout where he's had one season where he got 23 goals in 33 games only one player of the match though that season so you know not ideal 39 and 70 for England Lewis has got 27 and 55 for England Manchester United he's not scoring as much 19 and 32 is his best return 10 in 35 12 in 30 but is that because he's playing as a cam sometimes not too sure but in terms of the Premier League then United down here in eighth Tottenham up there in fourth then Tottenham and United in third and fourth respectively and then Tottenham and United in second and third respectively god Tottenham finishing one point behind Arsenal Ange is still in charge go on Ange oh my god they drew against Villa on the final day of the season did Arsenal win if Arsenal won they did Spurs threw the Premier League away on the final day of the season look Arsenal 3-0 against Norwich, Aston Villa 2, Tottenham 2. They threw the league title away on the final day of the season. They were 2-0 down, to be fair. Brought about to 2-2. Too little, too late, in the famous words of Jojo. So, yeah, look at that. I mean, can you believe it? One point separating them and Tottenham fluffed it on the final day. Oh, dearie me. United were a good few points further back. In terms of the awards, player of the year, it's been, it's been sacker every single season, hasn't it? None of our players have won anything. No one's won a golden boot either. Rasmus Hoyland there, 23, 26 the season before that. So, England, Calzona's in charge. World Cups have been won by Brazil and France. And the Euros have been won by Austria and Spain. Austria beating Serbia in the final of Euro 2024. Not sure that's really going to happen in real life, but who knows? Right. But we all know our favourite manager is Austrian, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? And he does become the Austrian manager quite a lot. Has Ralph won the Euros? Oh my God. Ralph Hasenhutl has won the Euros. Editor Jay Confetti, the screen or something. I don't know. But the rejoice. Ralph Hasenhutl. The man, the myth, the legend has won the Euros with Austria. Big man Ralph. I've, I missed the fact he won the World Cup in a different experiment. And everyone dogged me in the comments. And rightly so. Rightly so. I deserved to be put in my place because it was disgraceful that I missed it. Well, here we go. He has won the Euros. Come on, Ralph. Then he left to become the manager of Switzerland. And then he's left to become the manager of Scotland. Loves an international job, does Ralph. Let's go and get him 
get him the England job and see if he can win the World Cup and yours with them. I feel we've peaked. I feel this video's peaked. We're not really going to get much better than Ralph winning the Euros, are we? Unless he wins the World Cup. These two are, well, will Tim leave to go to Liverpool? Time will tell. How much time? It's a good question. I think, should we go four years? Let's go to 2036. So he, he never moved. Tim never moved. He stayed at Spurs for... Well, ever since. And again, he's had one, He's had a couple of seasons in the 20s. Uh, one in 14, one at 19. He's done pretty well for two seasons. I'm thinking that might have got him a golden boot. He might have got him a golden boot. Lewis, how's he been doing at Manchester United? Now, I think they're probably playing him as a cam. He's not scoring enough as a striker for me. Eddie Howe's in charge of United. No, there's Glover up top. They're not playing a cam. Who's the Rolly? Oh, starts off at AC Milan. 31. I love 31, does he? Cobby Mainu. He's still there. Go on, lad. You got Angelo. Never fulfilled his potential of 172. Sad. Sad times. Eddie Howe, then. How long has he been in charge of Manchester United? Four years and 18 days. And he's also won a Champions League. Three years ago, United won the Champions League. And the most recent Champions League winners were Tottenham. That means both of our players have won a Champions League trophy. In terms of the Premier League, well, we were four years ago, Liverpool won the league by 10 points. United and Tottenham in third and fourth. The following season, it was Liverpool again. Tottenham and United in fourth and sixth, respectively. But then... Big Spurs have won the league. They are managerless at this moment in time. Ange has retired after a league win and three cup wins for Spurs over 12, nearly 13 years. United all the way down here in sixth getting Europa League football. Bit disappointing. Tottenham finishing second the following season. United in third. As I say, Eddie Howe's in charge of Manchester United. And here we are at present day. So the award winners. Players player of the year. Angelo for United. Okay. The top goal scorer, Tim Williams, has won two golden boots, alternating with Marin Kostov, who is, well, a 196 potential ability, a 195 current ability player, 26 years old. He is Bulgarian, and he's absolutely insane, isn't he? He's, ne he's Dutch, sorry. Bulgaria is his second nationality, and he is representing Netherlands. What a player. But that's not who we're on about. We're on about these players here. As Ralph still in charge of Scotland. He left in 2032. So he retired very shortly after we were here. So the fact we we got here just in time. But there it is plastered in the middle of the screen. European Football Championship winners 2024. Let's all hail Ralph and have one moment of silence. There's your moment, Ralph. You've had the silence. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. Fair play to him. Well... Both our players have done all right. They're not setting the world on fire. 47 and 94 for Tim internationally. Lewis, 32 and 69. They're playing one up front. Chris Lewis and Craig Lewis, regens. And they don't seem to be in the first team squad. They're on the bench, both of them. Not doing great. So, yeah, that is what it is. Well, will they move? Will they manage to get more trophies under the belt? We will do a comparison at the end of the experiment just to see who did better but we've still got a few years to go i think 32 33 would be a good time to come back so 2040 2041 it's 2041 i'm sure saudi arabia will have come a knocking at this juncture well they're still both there at manchester united and spurs respectively but of course they are wanted by saudi arabia the premier division then in the last five years has been won by chelsea spurs city liverpool and liverpool Chelsea won it by a singular point ahead of Liverpool that, and two points ahead of Tottenham and United on 82. What a tight title race that was. Then Spurs won it by two points ahead of United. United and Spurs third and fifth respectively. Then Spurs second, United fifth. Spurs second, United fourth. And here we are present day. Tim Williams has been pretty good for Tottenham. Only not hitting 20 goals once. Got 18. But the low 20s most seasons, especially since we were last here. Lewis, on the other hand, isn't even breaking into the 20s. I feel like the retraining of the position has has quite has hurt them really but still carved out a pretty decent career for himself Unai Emery is now in charge of Man United the awards for the players well no one's got players player no one's going to have got players young player because they're all too old now the top goal scorer well it's Marin Kostov Tim Williams got another one it's his third but Marin Kostov has won it the milestones Spurs won another Champions League wow in the last five years Spurs have won two Champions Leagues and come run up once against Newcastle revenge for 2036 Newcastle say and look oh my god in 2036 I mean Ralph left in 2032 but in 2036 Scotland won the Euros Ralph came in and he instilled such a philosophy in Scotland 
that it was still taking effect four years later. 2036, Scotland winning the Euros. In 2040, England beat Denmark in the final as they won the Euros. But it was a 1-1 draw and it went to penalties. Lewis Glover with the goal. But how appropriate is a 1-1 draw considering what's just happened in the Euros in real life as England drew against Denmark. I'm recording this. It's the Sunday and I got back from holiday on the Friday with England playing on the Thursday. Just for a timeline for you guys. Just so you know where I'm at in terms of the recording schedule. Just how far in the, in the future this will come out. Because yeah, this has just happened. We haven't played the last group game yet. Pep's in charge of England. Scotland won the World Cup. Beating England in the final in 2038. Can you believe that? Who's in charge? Brian Prisk. Oh, who was it? Daniel Fark. Daniel Fark won the Euros and the World Cup with Scotland. No disrespect to Scotland, but Scotland. Look at that team. A 184, Alex Robertson. A couple of 150s and the rest of 140s. That's championship level. Dearie me. Who's going to Saudi then? Two years into the future and Lewis is still at United. Still wanted by Saudi. Tottenham won the league two years in a row, but that doesn't matter because Tim Williams has left Spurs. Oh, at the start of last season, so that he did get another win with Spurs for the Premier League in 2042. Very nicely done. United in third, both seasons. Who's in charge? Vincent Company's come and beco become the manager of Spurs. Yeah. De Zerbi won it there. Luis Enrique. So Spurs have had some good managers. Very good managers. Man United have got Rob Etherington. Eddie Howe left, become the Bayern Munich manager there for four years. The Tim's about to retire, I would have thought, in 2044. We'll go one more year. Yeah, they're both there in Saudi. So Tim, <clears throat> his contract expires. He is about to retire. Lewis, he's got another year in him, but he will probably retire at the end of his Al Itihad contract. So 1.3 million a week for Lewis. Tim is on 1.5. Negotiated himself a better deal. He's won the Asian Champions League twice with Al Hilal, but that doesn't count. So he's got a Premier League win, a European Euros win, a Premier League win, an FA Cup win, Super Cup. Champions League, Champions League, Premier League, so many personal accolades. And there you go. Lewis, on the other hand, in terms of trophies, FA Cup, Champions League, Euros, Carabao Cup times two, Champions League again. So, United, yeah, United run it there. Carabao Cup, Community Shield, FA Cup, DFB Pakal with Dortmund. So he's never won a Premier League title. I think he's won two Champions Leagues, whereas Tim Williams has won three. I'm pretty certain. One in 2041. 2037 and 2036. Yeah. So he's won three Champions Leagues, multiple Premier Leagues. So therefore, Tim has had the better career. Has anyone won the Golden Ball? Almost certainly not. Jude Bellingham. Look at this. Jude Bellingham winning it five years in a row. Saka, Phil Foden, Vinicius Jr. Marin Kostov has just been on a bit of a tear. Player of the Year. Again, no one seems to have won it. And neither is Football of the Year. Disappointing that no wins are out. World Team of the Year. Again, they're not in that. They're not in that. And it's not surprising. So 175 has not been the be-all and end-all for the experiment. Maybe we should have done 185, 190. But I didn't want to make them too good. I didn't want to make them too good at compensating for their lack of specific ability. Of course, Tim with no pace at 175, I thought he was severely handicapped, despite all these 20s and 18s and how good it was. On the flip side, Lewis, again, I thought he was given such a benefit to have 20 pace and acceleration, but you end up losing some attributes elsewhere, which makes you a you know a worse player in other areas. But pace being so important, I expected Lewis to have a better career. Ultimately, he went to United and didn't. Tim went to Tottenham and did. And that's all there is to say, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Do leave me a comment down below of any ideas you might have for future experiments. I do endeavour to get back to everyone and I do read them all. And I'm all is for experiment ideas. But other than that, there's nothing more to say than take good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.